This is a game. A game known as a game with a kitty. Yeah, that's actually the name of this game. So, yeah, hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of a game with a kitty. A game like this was made back in 2005 and as you can tell, it is a freeware game. So you are able to actually play along with me, providing you have a system that supports a game like this, of course. And I should probably stop saying stuff with a game in it, you know, with phrases. So let's just start the game anew. <laughs> so this is Kick-Ass Town. Uh, that could be pronounced a, a different way, but I probably shouldn't say it. Hey, Elder, how's it going? Oh, I too would look at the clouds all day. It's just so much fun to look at their shapes and sizes and uh, what? That's not, that's not very nice to say. And what? Why, why am I investigating the tower? That's... Well, maybe, uh, I guess it is because you're too lazy, that's, that's my only explanation. And Kitty just goes along with it. <laughs> so, this is basically a keyboard control game. Arrow keys are to move, shift to jump, and enter is to pause the game, and you can also check the name of the area you are at. Uh, the control key has certain actions, but we don't have that just yet. There, you, yeah, so I'm not going to spoil anything. If you press up, you can talk to characters. Hi, Elder Kitty! Uh, okay, yeah, just go along with it. It's a, it's a part of the game. Oh, and uh, the game does not support gamepads natively, so if you want to use a gamepad like what I'm using right now, you'll have to use something like Joy2 Key to map your gamepad through keyboard controls. And if you're wondering why the quality is a tad blurry here, it's because the game is only 218 by 199 in resolution. So I'm going to be upscaling this game to the best possible quality that I can. Anyway, let's talk to, to more people here. I knew a dense guy like you would like to go and investigate that scary tower. What? Dense? It's, it's going to be fun! Dang it, kitty! <laughs> I'm such a good judge of character. Yeah, so apparently the characters in this game do not like Kitty here. <laughs> so Kitty's being thrown into adv an adventure just because he's not liked very much. I told the elder you should go because you smell funny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and this is a save point. You can press up to save just as you would to talk to characters. So if you die, you will pop out right over there when you load your next game save. Or there's also save points on the map. I'll get into that when I get out there. Going into the tower will be good exercise for you, Chubby. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, he doesn't mind being called Chubby at all. Uh, this is some sort of birdie enemy. I don't know the names of the enemies because I could not find the enemy names on the web. So the only names of the characters that I know are the ones that show up in text boxes like you've seen there. So I'll just be calling them whatever I feel like calling them along the way. So this is going to be a walkthrough primarily on the gameplay. As you see in the upper right corner, there is 20 cash bags to get, and I intend on getting every single one of them to 100% this game. You can also see your life at the upper left corner, three hits and you're dead, or if you fall down a bottomless pit that kills you instantly, you'll also die instantly. Um, You've also got the money counter over there, that's important for certain stuff, but anyway, let's go to the save point, just press the jump button to save, to move on, and let's go to the strange tower that we were kind of roped into investigating. So we go into here, and oh no, I'll never be able to make this jump, how am I supposed to investigate the tower, oh no, well, let's start here. <laughs> So this is Salisha Hills, and beware of spiky head guy. You just gotta wait for him to throw his spikes and you will be good to go. Oh, here's some money. Each one of those bouncing coins is worth one. Don't worry, you won't have to grind that much money in this game, you'll see why. Ninja boy there jumps sometimes, so beware of that. Those, guys, those spiky headed guys only shoot their spikes when you're near them, so you gotta kinda trigger them to do so. Uh, these booster rings, you can't go through when the arrow is against you, so yeah, that should be pretty obvious. Uh, going up over here, I'm just going to do some careful platforming across the sky clouds that I was staring at at the beginning. <laughs> and flop down here, just to see who is beyond this place. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what do you want, filthy animal? Can I have your turban? 
No, but I can tell you how to enter the tower to the south. That sounds awesome. Only if you pay me a hundred shillings, dang it! Everyone wants pocket change in games. Okay, and then Kitty just agrees to it. There may be some treasure in that cave to the west. Treasure hunting sounds like fun! Yeah, it does sound like fun to me. So... <laughs> so, obviously, the objective is to get a hundred shillings to be able to get the move from her to be able to move on. So, let's do so. Or is that a he? It may be, maybe a, a she or a he. It's kind of hard to tell because this game's resolution is so low. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, though. Alright, so let's woo, go through the booster. And no, I thought I thought I, could, I was thinking of something else. Never mind. This this is where the treasure, the first treasure bag that you can get here is. And as as you've seen before, there are 20 to collect, and so I'm gonna get them all. This one you wouldn't have noticed, but we already could have gotten that one. Uh, but I just wanted to play this as a newbie player would get it. To get that bag, all you have to do is jump down here. And you land right on it. Treasure bags are worth 20, so as you can tell, it won't be very hard to get 100 shillings at all. Uh, well, providing you are exploring for the bags. You really don't have to collect all the bags in order to complete the game, and I don't think it has multiple endings. But the, the treasure bags are just like an extra challenge, and they do make things a little bit easier to finish the game. Otherwise, you'd be grinding one shilling at a time. Anyway, let's go to Oraga Cave. And... Start collecting treasure bags. By the way, this game's soundtrack is very fun. And the first one is... Wait, how do I get that? This is... <sighs> I'm being stopped at every corner because of my jumping ability. What can I do? Well, you will soon see. <laughs> These There's spikes here. You can walk on the sides of them, but you can't actually touch the tips of them, obviously. So anyway, just gotta move on here. And some of these things look like that they can be jumped on, like these pillars, but they actually can't. So there's kind of a uh, kind of a perspective trick, so to speak, at times in this game. But you get used to it because it's a very short game. Even if you die, there's um, there's ample amounts of checkpoints, so there's not really much punishment to dying other than the light backtracking. And woo! gotta use them to get up here. And wait, I gotta kill you before I can get this treasure bag. To jump higher, you need more speed, and I don't have the ability to do it, so in instead I gotta use that booster balloon thing to get that get that first baggie there in this level, and I will save. Um, there's a treasure bag way up there, but I don't have the move to be able to get it right now, so I'm gonna have to move on uh, by mandatory. Uh, and now we are on a moving platform. I'm gonna take the split path to go up and around here, woo! Just for the fun of it to show you the path back. Actually, that was kind of pointless to even show you that, wasn't it? Oh, dang it, now I gotta wait for the thing. <laughs> so, as, as I just mentioned, you need to collect moves in order to get all the treasure bags, and that's the main challenge of the game, I would say, is collecting all the treasure bags, aside from just finishing it as well, because this game is a very hard game, so yeah, it's gonna cause a lot of fails for me later on. You'll you'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, it starts out relatively easy, just like any game would. And do I want it? Hmm. I was I was just thinking if I made a mistake there. I'm trying to remember how to get that bag. It's been a little while since I've played this. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, now I've got a booster for that first treasure bag. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, and here's some water. You swim just by pressing the jump button and using the, uh, the control pad or arrow keys. I'm gonna go watch out you cute kitty you as a sign act that actually says that. They anticipated that a kitty is coming through here playing a game and... Oh, oh, gotta time this right. Yeah! get up here and I can get that treasure bag now I can also explore up here for this pocket change that you've seen bouncing around there every little bit helps I suppose but collecting this bag will force you to go around again but that's kind of the uh, the way the game leads you sometimes for a little bit of extra challenge to go through obstacles multiple times oopsie Arrgh! a good thing I have multiple health hearts and there we go but don't worry, there's going to be a lot of instant kill stuff that's going to destroy me later. Alright, so now we got our balloon. 
we got our treasure bag and we can go back to get the move that we can use to get in the tower as you can tell I've only, I'm, I got four out of five bags there I can't get the last one until I get a new move so back to Celicia Hills I go wait a second I probably shouldn't do that save first save a lot in this game save whenever you can because as I said this game gets pretty hard so get used to doing that whenever you can just to make sure it's your progress to save because remember when you collect the treasure bag you also have to get back from wherever you collected it from so you definitely want to save your progress along the way uh, just to make sure that you keep your treasure bags otherwise you're gonna lose everything you collected in whatever run through a level uh, in whatever level you're playing so it's just a matter of playing smart to keep your stuff anyway I got the shillings, now give me my move. <laughs> thanks for giving me that money. Yeah, you're welcome. It'd be kind of nice for you to just give me that move for free, though. To run to the tower, run and jump. Run, <clears throat> run by holding control, aka STRG. Thanks, magic, <clears throat> thanks, magical genie. And I got the run ability. Go, fatso kitty, go. Woo! Now we can really lose some weight. And this allows us to jump a lot faster. Because as I said before, you need speed in order to jump higher. Can I wear your turban? Or can I wear your turban? I'm getting the mo voices messed up for some reason. No! Go away, you unhygienic, flea-ridden animal, you! Fine, fine. This place is 100%ed anyway, so I won't have to come back to you. <sighs> People really hate Kitty, don't they? <sighs> Poor Kitty. There's no love for Kitty. <laughs> no love for Kitty whatsoever. Anyway, we are almost out of the level. Ooh, look at me go now! Um, I guess I'll show you this now. Um, just for the fun of it. Because you probably are thinking that you can collect a treasure bag that you might have already seen, perhaps, maybe, over here. But you can't. So that's where the treasure bag is in this place. You need a different move to be able to get that. So don't think you have enough moves to be able to get that now. But anyway, yeah, maybe I'll start the tower this part. I'm only at 12 minutes or so. It feels kind of... I think I'm going to take too long to finish this tower though, but I think there's save points anyway, so let's start it. This is the strange tower, and now I can jump up here because I have the speed. The towers in this game are pretty much... Oh, that uh, potion I collect that recovers your health. That's something that you see drop by enemies occasionally or on the ground. Beware of our thwomp-like buddies here. Uh, they're very spiky, very deadly. Well, maybe not that deadly. Whoops. <laughs> I was a little impatient there, but anyway, the towers in this game, rah, why am I playing so badly? The towers in this game are um, the more difficult areas of the game, typically, because they're like the boss areas, so yeah, this game is already progressing pretty quickly, but as I said, it's a short game, but it's its length is rooted in its difficulty, as you'll see a little bit later, because while I'm blazing through the game right now, I'm going to pretty much be demolished later on. <laughs> so anyway, let's wait this out. Here's where the game starts getting a little tricky. Alright, maybe I should have went when it was going up, but that is alright. And beware of our go imitation Gordo flavoring. Okay... Careful, your hitbox is a lot larger than it seems. And there we go. Gotta swim through the dark abyss. Oh, I shouldn't have went that way. <laughs> through the dark abyss. Come on, Thwomp. Move out of my way. These guys are really loud, by the way, <laughs> in case you can't tell. It's kind of humorous, though. Alright, there we go. Here's a save point, and I think this is a good time to end it off here. So, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.